millions of Iranians across the country took part in rallies marking the International Quds Day, chanting such slogans as "Down with Israel, Down with the U.S." People from different walks of life once again got together to voice support for Palestinians and express their hatred toward the expansionist policies of Israel. We have come to the streets to show the world that we will not leave the Palestinians alone and we will defend the rights of the oppressed nations around the world. Issuing a resolution, the demonstrators denounced Israel's atrocities against the Palestinian people and called for the liberation of Palestine. The protesters also condemned the violent crackdown against opposition protesters in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. Quds Day this year is observed at a time when the Western governments, especially the U.S., are grappling with serious economic problems. The world is fed up with the tyrannies of the U.S., Britain, and the Zionist regime, which are the most hated on the face of the earth. Such rallies show the depth of the public hatred towards U.S. and Israel. Iran's President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, like other Iranian officials, joined demonstrators in Tehran. In a speech, he called on the Palestinians to focus on liberating the entire Palestine from Israel. The recognition of an independent Palestinian state is only the first step towards liberating Palestine. No one can claim to be a proponent of freedom and democracy and yet be a friend of Israel. Israel is what keeps the colonial powers united and has a mission to impose a reign of terror on the world. These people believe that this year's International Quds Day is of special significance because a wave of Islamic awakening has swept Muslim countries. According to the leader of the Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Said Ali Khamenei, the recent popular developments in Muslim countries such as Egypt, Libya and Bahrain have been influenced by the massive movement of the Iranian people back in 1979. Ayatollah Khamenei said, The Islamic awakening is influenced by the massive movement of the Iranian nation 30 years ago since the Islamic Revolution was a change that rocked the foundations of the hegemonic system. That change turned the Iranian nation into an exemplary model for other nations. Certainly, the Islamic awakening began in the world after the Islamic Revolution in Iran. The teachings and guidelines of the late founder of the Islamic Revolution, Imam Khomeini, set a base for many freedom-seeking movements around the world. Introduced by the late leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution, Imam Khomeini, in 1979, the annual event takes place on the last Friday of the holy month of Ramadan. The day has become an opportunity for Iranians and other Muslim nations to shout the truth that arrogant powers have tried to silence. Samakujuri Press TV, Tehran.